Today we're going to talk about brainstorming. Brainstorming with your remote team. And you can do this using Cardsmith and a video conferencing tool like Zoom. We're going to jump right in. I'm going to start with the process that I use with my small teams um, that are remote. And uh, we follow some brainstorming rules. So here they are. We're going to focus on one question and one question only so that we keep everyone focused and not too distracted. Um, we want everyone to contribute. Um, we want to get a lot of different opinions and ideas, and the way we do that is by having a variety of people and perspectives contribute to the brainstorming. And we want to encourage creating some wild and crazy ideas. Um, these ideas might not be practical, they might not be possible, but they can spawn uh, other ideas. So we encourage creating some wild and crazy ideas. And then we're going to build on each other's ideas. We'll build first on our own and then on others' ideas. And we're not going to judge the ideas. So those are kind of like the guidelines. The process here is to, number one, let's craft the right question. So we may be solving a problem. We may be capitalizing on, on an opportunity. But I like to start out the question with how can we do something or how can we dot, dot, dot. All right, so then the second step really is to give time and space for individual ideation. I love to brainstorm with myself. Um, and I have some of my best ideas while showering or early in the morning before I'm fully awake. My subconscious has worked on the problem and has popped up a new solution. So I wanna give some time and some space for this and we're, we'll talk about that. And then, Finally, we're going to come together. The third step is to come together. We'll all contribute and we'll build on each other's ideas. And at this point, we're not going to judge or even sell our ideas or other people's ideas. And then not officially part of the brainstorming process because the brainstorming process is expansive. We're trying to create as many ideas as possible. We're not judging them or grouping them or prioritizing them, but that is the next step. So we won't cover that in this video, but know that... Um, you will be doing that as a, as a step immediately following the brainstorming, either that same day or maybe in a later session. Okay, so let's get started. What I've done to prepare us here is I've created a board called um, the Group Brainstorming Board. So this is, uh, the question here is how can we improve our proposal process? And I've created a board with the group and I've shared this with everyone on the team here that's going to be brainstorming with me. Then what I've done is I've copied that board um, to one board per individual. So I've got my board here. You can see it's got the same card. And uh, I've got one for Faye and one for David. And the final person on my team is Matt. So let's go ahead and copy this board for Matt. Let's change the name to Matt. And we'll copy the board layout and the cards because we want that question card to go there. All right, and then I'll color this board blue to kind of match up with the rest of this uh, particular project that I'm working on. Okay, so what's going to happen next is I'm going to let everybody know that the board has been shared with them. We might review the brainstorming guidelines and rules, and I'm going to give them an assignment to... Um, or set a date for a meeting that we're going to come together. And I like to make that time, you know, two, three, maybe four days in the future. I think giving people a week just encourages procrastination. Um, so, you know, at our team, we encourage everybody to do the brainstorming that same day or the next day if they can. And then that gives them a day or two to a background process and revisit the following um, session on their own before we come together as a group. Okay, so let's imagine that uh, I'm going to be doing my own individual brainstorming here now. And the first thing I'm going to do is review this question. I'm by myself. I'm using Cardsmith. And uh, I'm going to just start a free form of ideas. So I'm going to click somewhere. Maybe I'll start over here, allow myself some space on the left. And I'm just going to start typing some ideas. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, so these are my initial thoughts in no particular order, in no particular structure, just a free form of ideas. At this point, I might be kind of out of ideas, but what I might do here is add a little bit of thinking and a little bit of structure. So why, why is it? What are these ideas touching upon? And what I like to ask myself is, what is the problem? Or what specifically uh, are the symptoms? You know, what's broken about our proposal process? And I might come up with some ideas here, such as um, distracts, stresses the team, um, quality, not winning leads, and maybe that it just takes too much time. And you can see here, I'm building up from my ideas. So the reason I'm thinking about doing FAQs is because those are going to speed up the time it takes. I think organizing things, um, you know, organizing past responses might have to do with both quality and FAQ and timeliness here. So I, I might just kind of arrange things better. And then I might start to build on my ideas. So qualifying prospects better. Why did I come up with that? Well, there's something in my brain that says we're not qualifying them but good enough. So what is it about that? Um, I might give some examples, you know, company XXX example. I might come up with our other ideas, like let's survey customers or do a QA. and a Educate, level set. And then educate level set. Well, how would we do that? You know, those are other ideas. Maybe we have a glossary. Maybe we do a webinar. All these ideas that can come from other ideas. This is the idea of building on other ideas. So I start out just brain dumping everything I can. And then when I'm done, uh, or I can't think of anything else, I might start to think and add a little bit of structure. And that process may spur me into thinking about other ideas. Okay, so imagine I'm done with this. Everybody else has, has done this. I might think about this, like I said, overnight and come up with a few other ideas. And then when we get together in the meeting, what we'll do is we'll have one person volunteer to go first. I don't like to encourage the most um, extroverted, most strong personality to go first. I like to uh, encourage the team and I might do this offline um, somebody that's kind of in the middle you know they're not the shyest person and they're not the most uh, boisterous person to go first it won't be me I do know that um, but for sake of this video let's go ahead and I will expose my ideas to the team so I will go into my board and what I'm gonna do here is everybody will be on zoom on this group board uh, they'll they'll have this open in their own view but I will probably be sharing my screen and having this and let's imagine Monica is not me. Monica is going to go in and uh, she's probably not going to copy these things in because those were just cues to tell, take her uh, thinking in different directions but since we're not judging and we're not um, we're just coming up with ideas to the question or answers to the question how can we make it better um, let's go ahead and we'll select all these guys I'm holding the shift key down to select and scroll down and then I'm going to grab this menu on the left and say copy these cards to another board. Okay and I'm going to scroll and find my board. If there's too many here I can use search and I can type group. There it is. Select that. Copy the selected cards and then I can go to the other board. Okay so now my cards that I just copied in and we're going to do this one at a time. So we're going to go around the group. It's Monica's turn. She's going to just drag her cards in and she kind of brings them in in no particular order if she's the first one to go. Um, subsequent people, when it's their turn, they might choose to um, bring in cards and overlay them. So for example, let's imagine I'm Faye and I one of my cards was a library of you know, commonly asked questions. 
I would probably overlay that on top of FAQs. So I'm kind of building and, and grouping and we want to have a record of, you know, people having the same idea because later on when we get to prioritizing and um, categorizing, it's just handy to have those things. It kind of gives a sense of how many people had the same idea. Okay, that's basically the process. Have fun. It's a process that can be improved on. Brainstorming is a skill and it's a team skill. I think, uh, I think it's a great way to get a remote team together and to build trust and make sure you get everybody's perspectives. A diversity of perspectives always helps with creating better solutions and it can be a relatively quick process as well. I've had situations where we've come up with um, 200 ideas uh, from a small team of four people in the course of 30 minutes using this approach. All right, have fun. Talk to you soon.